welcome back in the kitchen one more time with chef for cooking program guys we want to show you how you can make yourself a lovely tradition caribbean rice and peas subscribe to the youtube channel leave your comments and get a copy of my cooking book on amazon see you next time guys we love you leave your comments and enjoy the recipe next time we will give you the real real authentic jamaican recipe every day every time and all the time so guys this is a tradition jamaican rice and peas the best of the best hopefully it will be a benefit for you and your family see you next time bye bye nice and lovely guys so right inside of this big bowl i got five cans of red kidney bean i'm using a can one guys you can do so use a can one right over here i have two cans of coconut cream milk right here guys which we're gonna use inside of it right over here we have fresh thyme white onion spring onion and some garlic and a jamaican scotch bonnet pepper we're gonna make you the true tradition caribbean way of making rice and peas today you're gonna love it leave your comments subscribe to the channel and we have a lot of things going on at the moment guys so this is a big pot of rice and peas but basically you can use one kidney bean one tin of kidney bean and quarter cups of coconut milk and some spring onion and white onion and make your little bit of pot and rice and peas at home guys enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments thank you so much for watching the cooking program we have it and we're gonna make it for you today see you next time nice and lovely so right inside of this pot i have quarter pots of water inside of it um basically as you can see just quarter pots of water and i'm using i just use some cold water now i'm gonna simply pop in the piece just like that and next seasoning spring onion white onion garlic thyme and scotch bonnet pepper using what half of a white onion two cans of coconut milk and a spoon of butter just to give it some flavor so what we're gonna do basically we're gonna leave this for it to cook for roughly about three to four roughly say 20 to 20 20 minutes until it boil up and cook cover it back and leave it for it to go simmer in the meantime and cook in the meantime enjoy the recipe guys nice and lovely guys as i can see right here look oh whoa 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 it's boiled down to a lot all right look at that beautiful really nice um but remember we put all of the ingredients so far inside of it except one thing salt we're gonna put a teaspoon of salt tablespoon of salt inside of it lovely and nice Give it a stir like this. Simple, taste it. Mmm, that is beautiful. Look at the thickness of it. We're gonna wash some rice and put it inside of it now and get things cracking out. So, let's get some rice wash. Yes, so what we're gonna do now, I just wash some rice. If you're at home and you're cooking rice for yourself and rice and peas, I'm gonna give you an idea. One cup of rice give you one and half cups of water to cook. Some people say one cup of water, some, some people say one cup of rice. No, one and a half cups of water cook eight cups of rice. And I'm doing a lot of rice at the moment. So guys, I'm just showing you how you can make it at home. This is just tips and ways. Now I'm gonna pour in straight my rice. As I can see. That's a lot of rice, guys. Roughly, almost. To be honest, probably it is probably about four kilos of rice I'm cooking at the moment. But as you can see, when you're cooking rice, the secret behind it: don't make too much water inside of your pot. You see, I don't need to add any more water, and I didn't. I don't need to take out any more water. So as I can see, look, you can see the rice. See? Lovely. So basically, I'm going to make this cook now for another good 20 minutes on a medium-sized heat. 
turning the stove a little bit low and leave it for it to cook guys as you can see look at that that is just really beautiful and really nice so and this is basmatic rice very easy to cook you don't need to add a lot of water to it guys so enjoy the recipe subscribe to the youtube channel thank you so much for watching the cooking program i'm gonna taste it again to see how it tastes mm, that is beautiful you don't need anything inside of it more than i want thing what i do is take out the bad boy this is the bad boy scotch bad and pepper nice one so leave it and let it cook i'm not gonna add any more ingredients to that that is perfectly fine And lovely guys look at over here, right over here guys i want to say the rice and peas is finished you know what i mean i give it 30 minutes inside of the pot and look at that beautiful beautiful really nice lovely and you can see the color of it that's looking so fantastic guys as you can see the rice and peas that all you need to do is just give it 30 more minutes inside of the pot and leave it until it finish cook as you can see and the rice and peas smell nice in the place yeah. really good really 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 nice so that, just give it a nice good 30 minutes leave it until it finished so guys enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments thank you so much for watching the cooking program we got a lot more recipe like this coming up for you see you next time bye bye